Hey everyone, today we are building a red river hog habitat it's set in a beautiful oasis as part of the tropical pack that just got released, so let's get started. Alright, so the main idea for the red river hog habitat was oasis, but make it capitalism. Basically, I wanted the idea of like this oasis surrounded by the desert or the savanna and then make it like a luxurious resort kind of vibe. Also throw in some Wakanda in there and I probably mispronounced this but that's also because I've never fully watched Black Panther. <laughs> I got to the scenes showing the city and I was just like ooh pretty and then I lost interest. I've dealt with a lot of movies well especially Marvel movies there's just something about superhero movies so I have the same with like DC movies so this is not like oh yeah DC movies versus Marvel movies. It's just superhero moves for me, they don't really hold my attention for long. So, I want my unicorns, I want my knights and castles and everything. When it comes to futuristic or modern day stuff, it's just like, it doesn't hold my attention. I want to be transported to a realm that just has none of that. Either historical or fantasy. But anyway, so as I said, the entire idea for the Oasis which is going to be a larger area that basically has a lot of the tropical animals from Africa. And it's just going to be like a collection space for those animals because I don't want to throw those or strew those about just randomly in the African area. I want to kind of have like themes going on. But the entire idea was just Oasis with a modern touch and then just look extremely wealthy and also just a lot of colors and such because i want to set it apart from the australian area which also has the like luxurious beach vibes going on so i didn't want it to just be like oh yeah this is luxurious but just in a desert no i wanted colors and such whereas the australian area is mainly going to be like oranges yellows reds with the african areas just all of the colors then I was surprised when I was building for the Red River Hogs and they didn't have any water requirements. So it was just like, you're a river hog. It's in your name. You don't actually need water. But yeah, in the end, it was just like, yeah, you're going to get water. A lot of it. You're also going to get waterfalls because I like waterfalls, especially when you can make them modern. And here's the thing. At the beginning, when I started Eve Zoo, so previous project but when i started that i was really just like eh, modern stuff i don't really like it and now it's just like yeah i want more modern stuff more 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 and more but i'm really surprised how quickly i turned over to modern stuff and such and well modern slightly futuristic as well because like naturalis is like a zoo set 50 years into the future like it's a little bit more like well, naturalis could exist today, it's just, it has more futuristic vibes with how sleek and modern everything is. Like, I don't want to build like any older style buildings in naturalis, just because I like the vibes, the modern vibes, the just sheer amount of capitalism in naturalis. <laughs> yeah, I know for certain that like the directors of naturalis are just like, scum basically <laughs> i always have that story of like the same was going on with eve zoo where i was just like yeah they, the directors were just like the ones who own eve zoo were just like yeah they're probably selling weapons on the side maybe illegally <laughs> like it's one of those dark corporations <laughs> but anyways back to the actual builds <laughs> because otherwise i get way too sidetracked but then I'm also, I keep thinking about chicken nuggets, which doesn't help with keeping this video sane. Like, I haven't had chicken nuggets in, well, basically this entire year so far, which is four months. So I didn't have chicken nuggets for four months. And then I recently had chicken nuggets and now I'm very happy. But I also was just like, yeah, I need to go to the gym again because of this. But anyway, so the only thing that's on my mind right now is chicken nuggets. I mean, they are great. I really don't like getting burgers or anything from like a fast food place. It's just chicken nuggets. Like 
no burgers, maybe fries, but definitely chicken nuggets. And also just, here is the thing that might make me very weird. I like chicken nuggets completely without sauce, just the nuggets. I am a very basic bitch. Well, actually, I think a basic bitch when it comes to chicken nuggets is sauce. I am not that. Although I did dip them in my milkshake. Didn't do that for long. I tried it like two times just because I saw it somewhere on the internet of like, oh yeah, some people do that. And it was like, I mean, it tastes good, but I still prefer my chicken nuggets basic AF. Anyways, back to the actual build before I start talking to way too much about chicken nuggets, because chicken nuggets are life, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> Anyways, so the idea when it came to the viewing area was just luxury porch. That's it. There's no more thoughts behind that. It's just luxury. Make it look like you wouldn't be able to pay to even get into it. Like there would just be guards stationed outside. And if you look at it, they will stab your eyes out because you didn't pay to look at it it's like ea you need to pay for everything also i finally made a staircase wheelchair elevator <laughs> lift i mean or that's definitely just completely butchering how you call it but just like a wheelchair lift for over the stairs that's it we're just going to keep it at that because my brain just doesn't want to compete or, or do anything right now. I wanted to say compete and it's that's also not the right word. Yeah, those chicken nuggets definitely screwed me over today. But then I also just, when it came to the stairs, wanted to just have it feel kind of hard, shiny, but then also have quite a lot of plants. That's the thing with the red river hawk habitat though none of the plants or almost none of them are african plants because i wanted to get like a certain vibe across i wanted to have i had like an idea of like oh this is how it's going to look like but almost none of the african plants really matched with that idea so it's just like yeah do i want something that actually works for the red river hawks or do i want something that looks pretty i'm going for pretty so that's the entire thing with the plants so if you see like plants and you're thinking like oh that that's not an african plant yeah it definitely isn't but it looks pretty and you can't deny that well you can you can call it ugly and such but i won't listen to you because i'm very proud of how, how it turned out also the potting for this habitat it was surprisingly easier than I thought because I thought like, oh yeah, I'm going to struggle with like making this sunken in, but also be like completely sleek and to the lines and everything. Figured out how to do like the flattened t terrain and the tunneling thing and then just, well, let's not lie. I did mess it up beforehand, but you're not going to see that because this is social media. We're only showing perfection so this is another thing of just like never compare your builds to mine because i have the magic of editing on my side so you don't see how many times i screwed up with this habitat that, that's three times well actually two times that i built it didn't like it and destroyed it like those clips are just in the flames right now and the, you are seeing like the third attempt so never compare yourself to anything on social media because again magic of editing you don't see what mistakes and failures have built up to what you're actually seeing it's kind of like the idea of like oh yeah on instagram everything everyone looks pretty and everything and then you see like the photo reel of just like 50 pictures that led up to that one picture that actually looks good also, just a side note, I never get Instagram, or actually Instagram, I get kind of, but I never get taking selfies. I've told this before, probably quite some time ago, but my brain is just like, yeah, we're swimming to one side of the aquarium and we don't remember what we did on the other side. I am a legit goldfish when it comes to that, but I never, well, I have taken selfies, 
like four, I think, in my whole life. I just I find nothing interesting in it, and it's just like, yeah, why would I take a selfie of myself? I'm not that important, and I don't care enough to really just stand there for like oh five minutes, just or five, maybe even ten or fifteen, because I'm a perfect so uh, perfectionist. So. I would probably just go completely mental and just get and be like the right angle, the right light and everything. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm not even going to bother. I don't care for this stuff. So I'm don't take selfies. We got sidetracked again. Like this is I'm blaming the chicken nuggets. We can all blame the chicken nuggets for poison being very unhinged. Well, not really unhinged. It's just I can't stay on the topic for long enough to save my life. But anyways, then I wanted waterfalls in the build. I didn't know how to do it really for a long time. And I also still am slightly annoyed with the walls of the habitat. It's just like, it feels too bland. But then I, for a long time, I was just like, oh, I need to put stuff on the walls and such. I built these like sort of, what are these trellises or something to put up on the walls of the habitat and trust the process is something that i had to say to myself here because in the end i'm very happy with how it turned out and not decorate the walls of the habitat too much also the plants that you see right now yeah they're gone as i said never compare yourself to what you see on social media because this is actually a failed attempt when it came to the plants because it was just too busy and it was just yeah also, I have no idea where I got the idea for the triangular canopies. It was just like, all right, let's do this. That's the entire thought process. Like, you think that there was any logical thing going there? Nope. It was just, all right, I have this idea. I don't know where it came from, but we're going to try it. And I'm very happy with it. But basically, we had this area in between the two pads that had nothing really that I I didn't know like oh should this be like a large like planter for flowers and such no that doesn't really fit with the vibe of this area like I want this to look like a luxurious resort in Wakanda even though I never fully watched the Black Panther movies <laughs> well actually I think the last movie like Marvel movie that I saw was Guardians of the Galaxy after that I just tuned it out Anytime there's like news of like, oh, a new Marvel movie or a new DC movie, it's just like it goes in one ear, goes out the other. Also, I've never fully watched Jurassic Park. I think we can like do this actually. Put down a movie in the comments below. Nine out of ten times I will have not watched it. So maybe let's see if you can find a movie that I have watched. <laughs> because I have a TV, but... Um, I have it's not plugged in or hasn't been plugged in for like maybe two three years now it's just decoration by this point <laughs> but yeah let's put that like let's put in the comments a movie that you have watched and just let's see how many movies I have watched because it's probably not a lot there's probably just like a nope I haven't watched that one haven't watched that one <laughs> that's just going to be like the main thing if you like put movies in the comments anyways let's move back to the actual habitat yeah this is where I finally found what I wanted to do with the plants also the reference image which is probably why the plants don't really fit in with the actual plant or African area. I think it's like a luxurious resort in the Bahamas. <laughs> that's the reference image that I used for this build. So that, that's probably the reason why it doesn't really connect with like, oh, African area. Like architecture wise as such, I am really like inspired by like African architecture, which is kind of a weird way to say it because Africa is such a large place with so many different cultures and so many different types and just kinds of architecture. To call it, oh, African architecture is really just like saying like, oh yeah, European architecture. Asian architecture so it doesn't really work quite well but just to keep it like very simple even though it's vastly just I don't know like decreasing the value of like all 
like African cultures and such by lumping them in together in one big part. It's just like, yeah, we probably wouldn't do that when it came to like Europe and such. So anyways, that's a little bit of a side tangent. Let's go back to the builds. So, and at the end, there's just two small little things that I wanted to build as well. In one of the reference images of Wakanda, because I think this build had like 20 reference images that I was pulling ideas from. There was just this standalone arch and was just like, I want that. It also is giving me slight Kian al Bashar vibes because I think that's just like, oh yeah, slight Arabian vibes, but then very lush jungle-esque things. And it's just like, yep, Kian al Bashar. <laughs> yeah. So I really wanted those arches and I thought like, oh, I need to do fences in between and just like not make them just stand on their own, be some or have something that leads up to the arches. In the end, it was just like, yeah, that's not necessary. Again, like I, sometimes I also have the issue of like, oh, yeah, I need to trust the process. I need to trust that everything eventually will come together and I don't have to be like, just with every small part, it's just like, oh, I need this to make a, the part stand up on its own. There's plenty of things that just like on their own would look very weird. But in the context of the entire build, actually look good. And also when it came to the lamps, it was just like, what am I going to do? Because all of the areas in Naturalis, you can see not only by like, oh, yeah, they have a very different vibe going on. It just completely looks different with the nature and such. Also, like all of the lamps, like if you're in the Asian area, you have different lamps, Australian area, different lamps. So I also had to think like, oh, yeah, what kind of lamps would the African area have? I don't know how I got to this part thing, but I really like it. It's just a little bit more like I don't know, it just it's giving me savannah, it's giving me safari vibes. Also, for some reason, I added like small little things on the bottom just because flower. <laughs> like I wanted modern, sleek, capitalist, wet dream. <laughs> I don't know why the capitalism just sneaked into this video, but then um, nobody realizes when capitalism has sneaked into their life. But just the entire vibe of the Oasis was sleek, Oasis, modern, luxury resort, capitalism with flowers. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Throw a red river hawk at the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more.